I'm simply doing what I feel to be right. The dragon has long been on your mind. That is true, my lady. Smaug owes allegiance to the enemy, but if he should side with no one, a dragon could be used to no effect. What enemy? Gandalf, the enemy is defeated. Sauron is vanquished. He can never regain his full strength. Gandalf, for 400 years we have lived in peace. Are we at peace? Trolls have come down from the mountains. They are raiding villages, destroying ground. Orcs have attacked us on the farms. Hardly a prelude to war. Always you must meddle. Looking for trouble when trouble exists. Let him speak. There is something at work beyond the evil of Smaug. A sickness lies over the Greenwood. The woodsmen who live there now call it Mirkwood. And uh, this, they say... Well, don't stop now. Tell us what the woodsmen say. They say... Well... Mirkwood. And uh, this, they say... Don't stop now. Well... Tell us what the woodsmen say. They say... Don't stop now. Well... 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 They speak of a neck living in Dol Guldur, a sorcerer who can summon the dead. That's absurd. No such power exists in this world. This neck is nothing more than a mortal man. A conjurer dabbling in neck... And so I thought too. But Radagast has seen... Radagast? Do not speak to me of Radagast the Brown. He's a foolish fellow. Well, he's odd, I grant you. He lives a solitary life. It's not that. It's his excessive consumption of mushrooms. They've addled his addle and yellowed his yelp. I warned him. It is unbefitting one of the Eastery wandering the woods. You carry something. It came to you from Radagast. He found it in mushrooms. Yes. A relic of Mordor. and sealed it within the high fells of north. Deep within the rock, they buried him. In a tomb sowed north, it would never come to light. This is not possible. A powerful spell lies upon those tombs. They cannot be opened. What proof do we have this weapon came from Angmar's grave? I have none. Because there is none. Let us examine what we know. A single orc has dared to cross the Bruinen. A single orc has been found. And a single orc who calls himself the Neck has taken up residence in a ruined fortress. It's not so very much, after all. The question of this dwarvish company, however, troubles me deeply. I'm not convinced, Kandalf. I do not feel I can condone such a quest. If they'd come to me, I might have spared them this come. I do not pretend to understand your reason for raising my hopes. They are leaving. Yes. You knew. Yes. I'm afraid there is nothing else for it. My Lord Elrond. The dwarves. They're dwarves. 